Baby Kate. The Bahamas. What are you? Okay, but I'm Bahama Mama. Bahama Mama. <laughs> little C's first vacation. He's a little bougie. He's tired. Out here at Margaritaville, it's quite nice. Later when we get in the room, we'll fill you in on uh, the beginning of this trip. The deets. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about. I have to get in the water immediately. All right, let's do a grand entrance. I'm gonna crush this slide later. Get up to the top of that conch, send it down. How's, how's it going over there? Where are we at? Look, Ivy Place, because this guy is unwell. <laughs> we're gonna fix that. We're at Revive Wilmus, and we're gonna get some IVs. Well, I'm not unwell. Yeah, I just you're wanna fine. be more well. I'm just recovering from like the jet lag. We want to start the trip off on a good, yeah. on a good foot, so that we, because it's gonna be so hot, especially laying outside, sweating. Just get the hydration optimal before. Tell them about our plans. We're gonna go on a boat tour. Well, can we do this later? Yep. Cancel. <laughs> Getting in my hydration. All right, so we just got some IVs, just gearing up for a lot of days in the sun. And now, I don't even know where we are, but we're in downtown Nassau, and I saw some colorful buildings in the distance, so I wanted to go walk over here, because I think this is like their famous like downtown area. And for the rest of the trip, we won't really be staying over here. So we're just coming to check it out. Here is their famous pirate museum. And we got some cute colorful buildings over here. No, anyone recognize this guy? <laughs> Brian needs to find some sandals. That's kind of the top of my list. All right guys, welcome to the vlog officially. This is our Baby Moon Bahamas trip. She is glowing. Thanks, babe. So basically, a little bit to fill you in on. We planned this trip like, what, two months ago, maybe? Is it about, yeah. Yeah. And scheduled the hotels. I booked the flights. <laughs> yeah, and you did most, <laughs> pretty much everything. Yeah, I would just send you a screenshot and you'd be like, book it. So anyways, I get an email Saturday morning. It's like, check in for your flight. And I'm like, hmm, that's a little early because we're leaving like Sunday night. It's usually 24 hours before. And then I realize that I booked it to leave at 12.45 a.m. Sunday. Not Sunday night. That's Sunday in the morning. All day early. Ow, too much. Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I had booked... So it's supposed to be a red-eye flight that I thought was leaving Sunday night to arrive on Monday morning and booked a hotel starting Monday for Monday night. So I had to go to work on Saturday. We realized that we're really leaving like Saturday night. So I went to work, Brian played golf, came home, had to pack up everything and leave a day earlier than we thought. Didn't have a hotel booked, didn't have like anything, anything. planned. We just showed up in the Bahamas. We <laughs> winged it. Literally just landed and we're like, okay, so where should we stay <laughs> for one night? And so we stayed at another hotel. We barely slept on the plane. On the plane. All overnight, no sleep, couldn't yeah. check in early, unfortunately. So My ankles were so swollen. Yeah. So yesterday we did get here. I didn't vlog much. We, I fell asleep by the pool. We had a, we had some dinner and went to bed and slept for 12 hours. 12 hours and Legit we wanted more. 12 hours. We needed more. It was so dark in the room, I couldn't tell like how late it was. So it was already after 11, which was our checkout time. So we were like, oh crap. So we had, and we were like, can we get a late checkout? They were like, no. So we packed up all of our stuff and then we went and got the IVs, which I was just vlogging. 
And now we're at our actual hotel. We're staying at Breezes. It's an all-inclusive resort in Nassau. And we're gonna go for a little dip in the ocean. I haven't fully actually been in the ocean. Yeah, this is our first time in the Bahamas ocean. I know. The most beautiful ocean we've ever seen. I, the water here is literally next level. It's, it's like the type of beach you dream about. It's the stuff you see, but it's on YouTube, you know? Yeah. It's surreal to see in person. I'm like shook and the sand is nice. It's like, I think I like this place better than Hawaii. The, the, Beach and ocean is for sure better. It's, yeah. you'll, you guys will see it's powder white sand and then there's this layer of blue, like light blue ocean mm -hmm. and then it goes into the dark blue. It's just beautiful. It's because, so bah Bahamas is stands for shallow waters, basically. Bahama. And, yeah, and so since it's such a shallow water, I guess that's why you can like, it's so like turquoise and you can see the bottom and it's, it's great. So Fun I'm gonna go for a swim. Oh yeah, our taxi driver. Our taxi driver told us. <laughs> You're so smart, man. You know, I know everything. You know so many things. All right, let's get out. Let's go. This is our room. I love, I love this resort. Everyone's here to have fun. We are immediately greeted upon arrival with two drinks. Yeah. Just they said, "Stop. You're on vacation now. Stop working." He was really nice. It was great. So pretty, just like simple room. Nothing crazy, but this is the best part, babe. Will you do the honors? Oh God, it's like opening a vault. <laughs> Let us out. And we have these beachfront chairs and then the ocean. It's just the best. I'm gonna be laying here tomorrow while you go golf for sure. This door is so heavy. I just went and had some breakfast at the buffet, and Brian, oh, when I walk outside, the screen gets all foggy. Hang on. So, as I was saying, I went and had some breakfast this morning, and Brian got up early to go golf at this like really nice course he was very excited about. Um, I think. He's playing two golf courses while we're here. Today he's playing at the Ocean Club at the Four Seasons. And then later in the week, he's gonna play at the Baja Mar course. We're actually gonna be staying the last two nights of our trip at Baja Mar. So we'll already be over there, but right now we're right next door. We're at a resort called Breezes and it's an all-inclusive resort on the beach. It's really cute. So I'm gonna just do some makeup and take some pictures with the tripod while he's gone because like he's really nice about taking photos of me but like I want a lot of photos in like different outfits so I'll take some in like this bikini and then later he could take some of me in some other outfits. My makeup bag comes with this mirror which is so handy. It's the one from base that I shared in another vlog but I'm obsessed for travel it's like life-changing. Lovely. I think it's time to whip out my more tan foundation, the It Cosmetic CC Cream. This stuff like oxidizes to be like darker. So this is literally fair light, like their lightest shade. But since I've had it for a while, it's I can literally only wear it when I'm tan. Just let me. I'm not even that tan yet, but I did put some fake tanner on this morning. I didn't do it before we left for our trip because I, I was gonna get a spray tan like the day before the morning that we were gonna leave. But we left a whole day early, so some things just didn't happen for me. The last couple days of the trip, I've been like kinda pale, hoping I would just get like a real tan, but I wore so much sunscreen. That's probably just not gonna happen. So then this morning I just decided to use some of my fake tanner that I bought and just put on like a light layer 
I'll probably only wear it for a couple hours and then I'll like go in the ocean or something, but at least I'll have like a little bit of more of a base going. All right, ready for the day. My hair is doing something else, but it's very beachy. I'm liking the vibe. I'm just gonna let it, let it be. Um, I got this cute belly chain too. I was worried it wouldn't fit while pregnant, but yeah, there's a lot of extra room still, so that's good. And just took some pictures with my tripod. My handy dandy tripod. Look how, look how amazing this is. Ready? It's literally so small. And then I can just put it in my bag. I can take pictures wherever I go. I look kind of crazy carrying, like popping that thing out, but I don't care. We got some cute pictures. And I am on a mission to get a coconut. Like I, I absolutely love that fresh coconut juice. Reminds me of when I, it reminds me of when I went traveling in Vietnam and Cambodia and Thailand. That was the first time I had like lots of coconuts, like everywhere you, you would go, like restaurants, they would crack one open for you. So I'm craving it right now. And I've seen pictures of people having them here. So I'm gonna go on a mission to find one. I got my coconut. It was the most expensive coconut of my life. $25. They say it can come with like pina colada and alcohol. I'm like, well, I'm pregnant. I just want the, the coconut by itself. They're like, yeah, we don't give discounts. This little kid was like, if I have, if I come back with less coconuts than money, I have to pay for it myself. So I was like, all right, kid. Give me the $25 coconut, but it's really good. Morning. What are we doing today, babe? I don't know. Okay, you need to wake up. <laughs> We're going to see some turtles, baby. We're going, going on a boat tour. Waiting for this moment. Turtles and pigs on Rose Island. I don't know what else, but it's gonna be beautiful. Turtle hunting. You ready, baby Kate? Yes, I'm determined to see a turtle. We're seeing turtles up close. I'm ready. You look stylish and great. <laughs> Saw a turtle. Saw a turtle. There's a turtle right down here. Little sea loves snorkeling. He does. He's having a great time in there. Goodness. Oh my goodness. 
go feed him. What are you doing over here, big guy? <laughs> Dude, I feel like this guy. He's a big one. Yeah. Go, go, get a get a boat. Make them swim for they carry. The big ones swim. That one didn't take my fingers off. He's just shitting everywhere. Look at the little one climbing on top of the big one. Ryan is terrified. How do you feel about the pigs, babe? Just trying to go give one a carrot. Just trying to keep my distance. Go give a carrot to the pig. Trying to not spoil the vibes, <laughs> but I'm good. Hey, I'm bringing this to you. Okay, babe, feed him one. To For you. the experience, just do it. You did it, he's pet him. Nice, he's nice. Uh-oh, baby Kate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got him! You got it! You got the baby too? Aww. Hi, cutie! Hi, I'm too one! Alright, here! Here! Come here! Oh, Just stopped at, what is it called? Sandy Toes. It's the only restaurant on Rose Island. They have these cute tables. We're getting some food and drinks. This water is even more clear than in Nassau. It's like amazing. Great view for lunch. Brian is just in a vibe today. We go meditate on the beach once we eat. All right. Talk about a good time. <laughs> How is it? It's really good. Oh, I love pina coladas. checked into our third and final hotel of this trip and it is so nice <laughs> oh here we have a posing bry i just love how white and bright it is <laughs> the clouds just started covering but we have a cute little balcony not like the best view ever but that's okay we're staying at the Bahamar Grand Hyatt. And this resort has like so many things to do. We've been actually coming over here for some dinners and we did um, mini golf. Wow, you're gonna be able to watch me shower. There's no, <laughs> you can't close that. <laughs> what? Look, the shower is just like open. You can't see it now. Oh, you can't? Yes, oh, yes you can. Yeah, you can. Oh well. Maybe you can dim it or something. I think. I. S ah. Yeah. No watching me. I want you to see me naked. That's weird. So we have a pretty fun day. We had like a relaxing morning. We just checked out of our other hotel. We were staying next door at Breezes, which is an all-inclusive resort. And then, yeah, we had breakfast at the buffet, checked out, came next door to Bahamar, checked in, they had a room available early for us. I'm gonna go to the spa and get a prenatal massage. And Brian is gonna play another golf course. This is a very- This is the number one golf course in the Bahamas, baby. Yes. It's supposed to be, very nice 
He's watched a lot of videos on it. He's really excited. About to watch some more and then get after it. What time is it? Right now? Yeah. 11.40. Oh, I'm going to head down to the spa now. I'll take you guys with me. I'm sure it's going to be the nice. I'm very excited. relaxing and most beautiful spa of my life that was so nice and now I'm gonna go sit by the pool and read a book I was really annoyed because um, the books that I ordered to read on the trip were like basically stuck in the lock stuck in like a package room that we couldn't get to so I didn't bring the books with me that I wanted to read but I went to a gift shop and I just bought a random book right now. It's called Finding Ashley by Danielle Steele. They had a very small selection, but it says America's number one bestseller and that this author is supposed to be like really famous. So I'm gonna sit, relax, and read this book. I'm heading down to the pool right now. Look at this view. So there's some pools down that way. You can see the ocean. I feel like this is not doing it justice. It looks so beautiful. It's like turquoise and blue. I'm gonna head down, down the stairs and go find a spot at the pool. I've been waiting to post Bahama Dry pick on Insta. Yeah? I think the hat and sunglasses are definitely going to be involved. Let's see your hat turn around. Wow. Nice hat. And then, the, I don't know if these are the right shorts. I might need to get more Bahamas. I like those shorts. The Bahama blue. Though, makes wow, look sense. at his tan line. Don't even show down there. He has like a band-aid on every single toe. Yeah, I'm playing <laughs> through the pain, not complaining once. <laughs> I came back and took a little like rest after I was at the pool and then um, I changed into another swimsuit and another cover up because the other one was wet. But Brian hasn't even been to the pool here. Oh yeah, this is my room key that I need to be wearing on my wrist for access. Um, and we're going to go pick up a pizza and bring it down to the pool. For sunset, we won't probably see the sunset, but... Sunsets hasn't, hasn't been that. Sunsets are not a thing here because it sets like, you don't, you can't see it, the direction that it sets. It's like an east coast sunset. Anyways, but we're gonna go enjoy the vibes by the pool, again. Ready, babe? <laughs> Pizza. All right, getting ready for our very last dinner here in the Bahamas. So sad, we leave tomorrow. I'm wearing this really cute dress that I got from Beginning Boutique. Fits the bump very nicely. And I'll put some links to the outfits that I got from Beginning Boutique down below and I have a little discount code for you guys. 
Uh, you can get 15% off with my code. We're gonna go try to take a picture together really fast. The sun is setting, we're losing daylight, and then go to our dinner. Ryan is wearing this nice shirt that I just got him. Yep. All right, let's go, babe. Put your shoes on. I'm ready. You don't have shoes on, though. Mm -hmm. it back the longer I go the, the less you want it I know yeah. here we each got our own yeah seems unlikely we'll need it I'm kind of feeling dessert though I was really hungry for dinner so I'm not even like stuffed as you didn't much. eat like a crazy amount my, my meal wasn't like as heavy as yours yeah, the, no the gnocchi was basically flavorless. It was not that good. Like, it looked good, but... It looked amazing! We got each a slice of strawberry cheesecake. This is gonna be glorious. I'll already tell you. It's a whole new world for me, having like a sweet tooth. It's not a whole new world for me. I like have to have dessert, like... After every dinner. <sighs> Alright, I'm waiting for you. Alright, we're gonna do it together? Yeah. You flipped yours up? Yeah. I'm not gonna flip mine up, I like the chaos. Okay. Ho ho ho! Oh! Cheers. Cheers! Cheers to the best baby moon ever! So fun. Thanks, babe. Welcome. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Dude, Baja Mart! Just does it right. <laughs> Every, Every thing. single thing. Quality, baby. They also charge. <laughs> <laughs> they also charge an arm and a leg. Unbelievably like, expensive here. We bought these, like, Fiji waters. Here, look. What, what size are they? Like a liter? These are, like, store brand. Like, like off brand. Cheap. You guys, comment down below how much you think this costs. It's 1.5 liters. Right. My guess for really high prices would have been like seven dollars. That's really high. That's what for a high it's price. Like five I would. or six. <laughs> okay, tell them how much. Thirteen dollars and fifty cents American dollars for a, a water. For thirteen fifty. And then and then the Fiji like similar size. Fifteen bucks. Fifteen dollars for a bottle of water. Can't believe it. And we did buy two. <laughs> Got a drink. And drank them quickly. Oh, look, they gave us two new, mm -hmm. two more Dasanis today. You get two free waters a day. The rest... That should sustain you, two waters. It's on you. Yeah. So that's pretty crazy, but... That's just the resort prices. I mean, the Bahamas in general has been expensive. Really expensive. Like, like you're on the strip in Vegas prices for everything. Or even more, more, dude. Even more. The taxi, like, yeah. 15 minutes is like 30 bucks. We had a taxi from... The hotel next door. So... It, we walked here multiple times. Yeah, it's like it's a 10-minute like walk. 10-minute walk at most. So it's like a literally two... Two-minute drive. Two, three-minute drive. How much was it again? $14. Yeah, or more. 14 14 he said it would be 10, but we had luggage, so he's going to yeah, charge us 14 yeah. for, because we have luggage, which is weird. I don't know. I'm like, you literally pull out of the parking, pull out of the drop-off, and then you pull into the next one. It's like so close, I couldn't believe it, but we're not being negative. Yeah, we like had the best we time. We had the best time. It's just like some things that were like kind of strange. We're like, okay. Now we know that. Every, everywhere we went, the people were so nice. Mm -hmm. The experiences were so great. 
Honestly, I'm surprised at how nice everyone is here and friendly. Like, anyone who works at any store or, like, at any of the hotels is so accommodating and helpful. And that's, like, everywhere we've been. Like, not just at Bahamar and not just at Breezes. Like, the staff at both places were really great. Everywhere. Everywhere. Like, taxi drivers, even though they're expensive, they're all super nice and will give you good recommendations. The and airport. It was just... A great place to be. Yeah, I love it here. I think, yeah, I still, I think I like it more than Hawaii. Babe, cheesecake in the bed. I'll lather it on. <laughs> As I sleep, I'll seep it in. Um, I mean, the last time I went to Hawaii, it was... Not the best. Yeah, not the best. Because the locals in Hawaii the are yeah, the very were, hating well, all the tourists right now. Let's just say our specific experience... Well, because it's I'm so... not going to say everyone in Hawaii is like that. No. I had a great experience before, but our last experience... I can understand. Like, it was 2021. Everything just opened up. Everyone was still scared of getting COVID. And everyone was going to Hawaii. So they were kind of just like... It was hard for them to keep up their policies with the amount of people that were there. And they were just like over it. Oh, Jesus. But anyways... I need to crawl in a hole. I, I have I like, no excuses for the people of Hawaii. They were kind of just mean. But here, I'm loving the vibes. Yeah. I'm definitely, I would definitely want to come back. Yeah, makes me want to get rich. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end this vlog and eat my cheesecake. Yeah, get, get after it, baby Kate. Thanks for watching our Baby Moon vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. We have some exciting things coming up. You don't want to miss um the pregnancy updates and the birth and yeah i'm at how many weeks am i 24 25 I'm 24 weeks so we have 16 weeks left ish anyways that's all for now guys till next time